Welcome everybody to the seasonal diet, eating what our ancestors ate when they ate it like we were evolved to do. Dates. Not those things that you keep trying to get your Tinder matches to go with you on. No, I'm talking about the fruit. What is the history, seasonal availability, and should you be eating dates according to your ancestral diet? Dates have a very similar history to grapes, which I did a video on earlier this week. We have archaeological evidence of the cultivation of dates going back 8,000 years in the Middle East, but of course they could have been growing wild and foraged by humans long before that. And they sp slowly spread over the ages, and we see them also being cultivated in ancient Rome from about 2,000 years ago, and even spreading all the way east to Pakistan and India sometime before that. So dates can be grown a lot of different places, but they are definitely best grown in dry deserts, uh, actually like the Middle East and Northern Africa. And their history in these regions is filled with dates in its mythology, in its tales, in the history. It's always attached to this common conception of an oasis. Imagine walking through the desert hungry and dying of thirst. Your paradise would be if you came across an oasis with plenty of juicy fresh dates. It's no wonder why dates are such an important part of their culture in the Middle East. As for those of us with European ancestry, um, not so much. We have evidence of grapes being definitely widely grown, even in places as far as north as Scandinavia during certain warm periods in history, such as the Bronze Age or Viking Age. But it has never really gotten warm and sunny enough to the point where dates have been grown on the wild scale. And that goes for most of Northern Europe. However, dates could have very easily been traded. Dates are one of the best fruits to dry and preserve, and they have a very long shelf life once you do this, so it would have been no problem to travel down to the Mediterranean, trade, and bring back a shipload of dates back to the north of Europe, um, if that's where your ancestors are from. So if you do have ancestry there in the north of Europe, they would have definitely had access to some dried dates throughout the winter. Um, and if you are from the south of Europe or Middle East, your ancestors would have had the dried dates, and but also, of course, the fresh picked dates from the trees. And like I said, they are in top season now in the fall.